What's up YouTube? Today we are looking at hybrid boxer knucks <coughs> from JB Knife and Tool. As you can see right there. So I actually got this from another channel. Um, the person, I'll actually link the video I'm going to reference down here, but he punches a coconut with it and sold it for like $100 off to me. He posted one of the groups and um, I kind of lowballed him and we, we met in the middle. Um, but I don't know why I, I, so many people move the knuckles along after they get them. Because I like these. This is G10. They also made, these are all gone now, but they also made one that was just the top of this. So braceless basically. But I do like this for this as a you know having a brace for a super serial carry guys. Um, I did knock off a lot of the tarnish so that it looks much newer than when I got it. Not that it looked bad; it just looked you know it patina. Um, I didn't go crazy though. I, I used like the never dull kind of cotton swabby stuff. And on this part, I used a, uh, an actual polishing agent. But I didn't want to get it too crazy bright everywhere. And this is going to patina again, obviously. Um, I'll probably carry these. I paid like a buck twenty, I think, for them shipped. And obviously, they have the classic knuckle-looking brace. I-beam-looking going on and then you've got two points and then two points for clotheslines and hammer fists. Um, we're going to do some measurements actually. Five ounces. Five inches. We'll go to the top of a spike. 3.1. How thin is this? 0.3 or 9 millimeters. Just under one, and then let's see how. I would say they're the same. It's one inch finger holes. As far as the space between them, it's gonna be small. Point zero eight inches. We're gonna. A little over two millimeters. So bottom line, this is my thoughts, my initial reactions. I'll carry this and have more reactions. Um, I like the pin construction. I don't think the G10's going anywhere. Uh, even if it did, I could get somebody to cut out wood like that. I could put a wood thing on it and then peen it. Um, I don't think I would want to, but if I needed to. The boxer design gives you a lot to work with you're going to have a hard time finding a situation where you're not being able to utilize a point, especially in any dusting style motion. Um, I like these, the prongs. Uh, I think that they work pretty well. As far as points of contact, it's basically here, 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 here. Um, I think these would work really well. And if you watch the coconut punching video, they punch a hole in the coconut. So we know it would break a coconut at the very least. 
And uh, there's really no doubt to that anyway. I think this is brass. So brass is pretty strong. I mean, it's like stronger than copper by a significant amount in nearly every measurable aspect. And copper is not a weak thing. So just to give you kind of a heads up. Um, but yeah, another boxer in the collection. Very nice. I like this interpretation. I'll give it a carry. It's nice and light. It's also very pointy and neat looking and thin. I like the thinness of it a lot. So yeah, that's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. I right, folks, you hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Goodbye now.